Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing 12 bookish cozy mysteries. So these are all cozy mysteries that have very strong book or like writing related themes. So it could be taking place in a bookshop, it could be a writer as the main character, it could be both. It, you get the point. So I have quite the stack here. We're going to go through and I'm going to talk about some favorite cozies. So if you are a cozy mystery fan, definitely hit subscribe. I talk about cozy mysteries frequently on my channel. I'll link my playlist above if you're interested. So I feel like I have so many favorites in this category, but one that stands out is the Pen and Ink Mystery Series by Chris Davis. So this is one of them. This is the Coloring Crook and I adore this series. Basically our main character is Flory Fox and she is like kind of the manager of this bookshop and the bookshop not only sells books of course but they also sell coloring books and she herself is an artist and actually draws like coloring pages and she sketches a lot and she'll even like sketch main points of the plot like things she's trying to remember when she's solving cozy mysteries and I love it. So I love Flory as a character. I think the characters are really strong in the series. I love the bookish setting. I love how she sketches and does coloring book designs. I think that just adds something to it. I've never come across like a coloring book themed cozy before. Let me know if you have but I absolutely adore the series. Krista Davis is such an inviting writing style and the mysteries are always really fun in this one so highly recommend this one. If you are looking for something hilarious like funny, punchy, fast-paced, almost feels kind of like a thriller in some ways but still is a cozy mystery, I recommend the Buy the Book mystery series by Tamara Berry. I've checked some out from my library. I've read the first two. There's three out currently. And I love it. I love it so much. We have a mother-daughter combo in this and the mother is actually a thriller author and in the second book she's actually opening a bookshop. So you get both the writing and the bookshop element and you also get to learn about the book she's writing and the series. So I love that. It's a perfectly cozy series. I love her daughter and her relationship. Her daughter is like a young teenager and they are always kind of, you know, little friction sometimes but they get along so well at the same time and they just have such a deep bond and just Tessa's writing style she is just so punchy like the main character the way she's written is just punchy the dialogue is snappy and short and direct and I found these to be a little more twisty than your average cozy but very fun with the bookish and writing elements so highly recommend that one if you're looking for kind of a supernatural bookish cozy I recently read a haunted bookshop mystery by Cleo Coyle also known as Alice Kimberly this is the ghost and the dead dead this is the second book in the series I have only read this one so far but I really loved it. Basically our main character is Penelope. She runs a bookshop. Perfect right there. But her bookshop is haunted by a PI from like the 40s or 50s named Jack. So she's got this ghost and only she seems to really be able to talk to him and he helps her solve cases because of his experience as a private investigator. And you're also having these little flashbacks to his life when he was you know actually alive and how these experiences are helping you solve like the current case. So I really enjoyed this. I want to check out more from the series. It was a perfect little bit of a spooky, a little bit of a supernatural cozy with the bookish elements. This particular one took place with an author who is talking about her book in store which stirred up a lot of drama and I loved it. So highly recommend this for supernatural and bookish vibes. I think the first bookish cozy I really remember reading and this one just head over heels is Paige Shelton's Scottish Bookshop Mystery Series. This one in particular is The Stolen Letter, the other ones I've checked out from my library, but wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love the series. So Delaney is an American. She comes kind of, I think, from like the Midwest and she actually moves out to Scotland in the first book and she's working in this eccentric kooky bookshop where the main like the boss Edwin actually has all these like bookish treasures too so you not only have the bookstore element but you have all these bookish treasures and like historical artifacts and he's having Delaney like catalog these and just like learn about them and stuff because he's like fabulously wealthy of course so fun element there I love the employees in the shop they're all delightful characters and Delaney has this kind of it's not a supernatural cozy by any means but she kind of will infer or get these quotes from books randomly that kind of help her solve things like it's like her subconscious I think kind of working and that's kind of a fun bookish element too and I find that the mysteries for this also tend to very heavily circulate around Scottish like history, legends, books so again kind of staying with the theme so highly recommend this. I think this series is phenomenal. 
and it really got me into the cozy genre. It's one of those series that really made me fall head over heels in it for the series and I just absolutely love it. Like this one in particular was about Queen Elizabeth and it was just fascinating. I love Delaney as a character. I love the writing style for this. I love the mysteries. I really have only had like one book from this whole series that wasn't like a five star for me. Like most of them were like four and a half five star reads. There was one that was like three and a half. They were all really good though, so I highly recommend this series. So if you're looking for one with a book club kind of setting, I recommend the Jane Doe mystery series. I recently read on Borrowed Crime and there's a few out, there's three out right now. This one has been kind of, it's more in the middle for me, it's not like an all time favorite, but I really love the theme. So if the theme sounds interesting to you, basically the Jane Doe book club takes place in the south, I think in Georgia, so lots of southern charm in this series, but the Jane Doe Book Club is a group of women who get together and they read mystery novels, so you have like the bookish element there, but they also will go through and read Jane Doe cases, and sometimes their mystery connects to a Jane Doe case in the area as well. So I really think that one's kind of fun. It's a little maybe less typical bookish cozy, but you do have the book club element which gives it a little bit of that, and I think it's just a fun one I want to recommend. I recently read I think uh, the one that was like a Halloween themed one and it was based on A Murder is Announced by Agatha Christie which I loved so that was fun. Another series I really love is A Books and Biscuits Mystery by Abby Colette. So she also writes the Ice Cream Parlor Mystery series which I love as well. This is Soul of a Killer. There's also one other book out so there's two currently. We have two twins in this, Kobe and Keaton, and they are fraternal twins but they were separated as children and they are now getting to know each other as adults and they decide to open this book and cafe store. So you have you have Keaton who is an ex-librarian and she handles the bookstore side of things and then you have Kobe who is this excellent cook and he loves southern food so there's all these delicious descriptions of like fried okra and oxtail and all these things that to me at least I have not really had a lot of experience eating but I would love to. So if you like food and bookish cozies consider this one. It's a really good combo. I think the mysteries for this series have been very solid, really great clues scattered about. I love the relationship between the twins because they're both like, they just love each other so much but they're also still getting to know each other because they only reconnected as adults. So it's kind of interesting to actually have a sibling dynamic in a book where they don't actually know each other in terms of, you know, what's your favorite color? What's this? What's that? Or like they don't know about each other's experiences throughout life because they weren't there together but they're so closely connected at the same time. I love their bond. I love the mysteries. I love the books, the food. It's great. So I highly recommend this. Also how cute is the binding? It's just adorable. Like I love it. So I highly recommend this series. I think this one's a blast. On a side note, if you do like food cozies, I did a whole video on culinary cozy mysteries. I'll link it above. But I also recommend the Tiffany Austin Food Blogger Mystery Series. There's only one book out. It just came out this year. And I read it and Tiffany is our main character and she is a food blogger. So it's kind of, it's more of a writing, I would say, a cozy. So she works for this like Southern Charm magazine. So you get lots of interesting magazine and like writing snippets. So I really enjoyed that. The food element, of course, if you do like culinary cozies as well. But I thought the writing for this was so well done. It just really sucked me in. I loved the writing style and I love her best friend. Her best friend has so much personality and they are quite the duo. And she also has a dog and a cat. So if you like food, blogging, writing, like kind of cozies, and you like like a pet, like a pet heavy cozy with the cat and dog, you have all those elements covered. And I thought the mystery for this was so great. There's also a touch of romance. So if you like that, consider that as well. Another great one is the Library Lovers Mystery Series by Jen McKinley. This is another author who really got me into the genre. And our main character is Lindsay Norris. And she's a library director in this New England library and so beautiful setting lots of great seasonality and the library itself is delightful it's got a huge cast of characters you get to learn about i really recommend reading this series in order to really get the subplots with all the characters the characters are fleshed out beautifully Lindsay herself is just such a passionate loyal friend she's really bookish she's very introverted and kind of nerdy she's always recommending great books to patrons and later on into the series they actually start this crafternoon club which is a book club that does crafts at the same time when they're discussing books so you have both the library, you got bookish events, you often have bookish mysteries involved with the library itself, and you have the Craft Noon Club. And you have this adorable like little black, I think like kind of Scottish terrier mix named Heathcliff. 
what more do you want, right? Like, come on. Another one I recommend if you like a writing cozy is the Jane Austen Mystery Series by Laura Levine. This one I just checked out from my library, I haven't read it yet, but I've read the first like 10 or so books in this series. Jane Austen is a freelance writer, she's working in a pretty big city, and this is a very comedic cozy. So the mysteries are really good, but the comedy, the writing for this is hilarious, like actually laugh out loud hilarious. It's very self-deprecating, like the author kind of makes fun of Jane and everybody around her, so definitely go in knowing that it's meant to be like self-deprecating. But Jane is great. She's always taking on these weird freelance writing gigs, which I can relate to as a freelance writer myself, and she gets into these situations where she's writing for maybe some people that are like a little uh, shady or she'll be writing for this fabulously wealthy couple in the next one and one of them dies or she's writing for a TV show sitcom or something so she gets into all these fun shenanigans the writing and the ads and like the copy she does is really funny so you get that kind of element and then her cat Prozac is my all-time favorite cozy mystery like animal sidekick ever that cat has more personality than most people in books. I love the cat. I can't. <laughs> I just love her. So I definitely recommend this. It's absolutely a hilarious series. Um, another one if you're looking for an author kind of book, bookish theme cozy is A Deed of Dreadful Note, book one in the Anna Catherine Green Mysteries. This is by Patricia Meredith. She is a like historical fiction and cozy mystery writer that I really adore. And Anna Catherine Green is a real life person this book is based on. She was actually a mystery author who published a lot of like very iconic mystery novels about 15 years before Sherlock Holmes and like Agatha Christie took over and she actually established a lot of the tropes that are well known today like the Miss Marple she actually had a character like Miss Marple that kind of maybe inspired Agatha Christie so I loved this this actually takes place when Anna is about 25 I want to say and one of her father's clients her father is a lawyer is found dead and she gets involved and this is before her writing career has really taken off, but you're following her journey as a writer and just her love of books in general. So I really enjoy that. If you like historical fiction and a cozy mystery with some writing elements, this is a great one. Another kind of maybe like slightly off the beaten path bookish cozy, but to me it's a bookish cozy, is the Dangerous Type Mystery Series by Paige Shelton. So I have one book left from this series. The series only came out with three books in total. But our main character is Claire Henry, and with her grandfather, she runs this store called The Rescued Word, and they sell, like, typewriters, they do, like, custom stationery and, like, prints. They'll also restore books sometimes, which I found really interesting, and so all the mysteries so far have had some kind of theme around, like, typewriters or books or manuscripts or something along those lines. So again, maybe not quite as much of a straight shooter as, like, a bookstore or a library themed cozy but definitely has that element with like the writing and just the manuscripts and just the appreciation for the written word. So really recommend that one. Another one I really like is the Haunted Library Mystery Series by Alison Brooke. Again a bit of a supernatural element. It's not as heavy as some of the other ones I mentioned but in this one we have a character who is kind of running like the library's activities and she is one of the only ones who can see this ghost her and like her niece they can see a ghost who died on the premises I think her name is Evelyn and she's a really sweet ghost I really enjoy her character and she'll talk about the mysteries with her and they have a lot of library themed mysteries there's also a lot of like heist themed mysteries in this one because her father has kind of this not so positive past as like a jewel thief or like kind of a con man in general so sometimes he gets kind of drawn into that so I find that interesting I love the heist element I love the library setting I love that the library is haunted and she's always putting on these cool library events that really feature well in the books and then last but not least another recommendation if you do like more of a historical cozy I like the Louisa May Alcott mystery series by Anna McLean this one is Louisa and the Crystal Gazer I haven't actually read this one yet but I've read the other two books in the series. It is a three-part series right now, and as the series name suggests, our main character is Louisa May Alcott, the author of Like Little Woman, and this is her in her younger years, like in her young 20s, where she's kind of solving mysteries, and it kind of inspires some of the blood and gore thrillers that she used to write, which some people... I, I really love Louisa May Alcott, and it's actually interesting because before she was known for Little Woman, she would actually publish these very, like, bloody, gory, like, thriller short stories in, like, newspapers and stuff to make money to help her family meet, like, 
make ends meet basically and so this is following her as she's doing that and some of the mysteries inspire that so you have both the writing and then of course as a writer she has a huge appreciation for books and I just love that I love the references I love how sometimes the mysteries inspire characters that we later know from her actual works so if you are a Louisa May Alcott fan if you've read Little Woman or the movies you might enjoy this it's a really delightful series I love historical settings I think they just add so much and this one is just a really delightful series I wish it was continued but there's only three hours out. and it looks like it stopped like I don't know six seven years ago all right guys thank you so much for watching please let me know down below what is your favorite bookish or like writing cozy mystery series I would love to know I'm always looking for my next favorite these are just a list that I kind of threw together of ones that I know I've just read and enjoyed and just really connected with in one way or another so I hope this helps you find a new favorite if you like mysteries please hit subscribe. I talk about mystery books on my channel every week. Anything from cozy mysteries, historical fiction mysteries, thrillers, anything with a mystery element you can find on my channel. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!